What's up guys? Welcome to Yufuin, a onsen resort here in Kyushu. And we are standing in the middle of one of the main streets, the shopping streets. And can you guys see the mountain in the background? That's Mount Yufu. They call it the Mount Fuji of Kyushu. It's an active volcano and it makes a really nice backdrop against the street. Hello Jean, hello Bree. Good to see you guys. It is a cold day. Uh, let me let me switch on my face. <laughs> What's up everybody? So, we just finished filming one video here. We did a street food video of Yufuin and we're like so stuffed. Sorry, we cannot eat anymore. Hey, Mindy's mom, Jean, Angela, Starzy, who else is here? Um, Heather, Mahakali, Sue, BM, A1, Jason. Good to see all of you here. <laughs> Jean, you're too kind. You are too, too kind. Anyway, uh, Yuhuin is not what we expected, you know. It's a lot more commercialized than we thought. And um, there are a lot of shops, there are a lot of restaurants, there's a lot of street food, tons of street food. And um, this it kind of reminds me of Takeshita Dori in Harajuku, but without all the teenagers. So that's the biggest difference. Although the shops are not so much geared towards teenagers, the shops are more geared towards adults and there are things that I actually want. But anyway, um, we're, at the, we're at the entrance of this place called Yuhuin Floral Village. Tek tek pak pak san, konnichiwa, mochi mochi san, konnichiwa. Just saying hello to all my Japanese friends out there. And if you guys are new to my live stream, welcome, welcome. And say hello to everyone here because everyone's fantastic. Okay, so we're at the entrance of this place called Yuhuin Floral Village. And I'm gonna turn the, uh, the camera around so you guys can see and we did already take a stroll through here and it's it, it's it's really interesting to be honest with you and it's it's so odd to me that this place even exists here so um watch it's gonna be a lot of fun this place it's almost like a theme park without any attractions and it's free <laughs> so uh, let me go to the entrance because I kind of went through the uh, the back entrance I think but anyway welcome to Yufuin Floral Village so this is Floral Village hey Nicola Grant yes you caught a live stream and look at this it's like a it's like you stepped into like a storybook or something you know and here we have um, I, I don't know these characters here, but Satoshi does. You don't know? I don't know these you characters. Know. I do not. And her name is Heidi. And Satoshi explained to me that this is a very scary teacher in, in the anime. Do you guys know this? Yumi Yumi san, konnichiwa. Arubus no shoujo Haiji. So I don't know this. Haiji datte. Haiji nan datte. So, Yufuin Floral Village Alps no Shoujo Haiji no Nantoka. Ne, Satoshi was still ne? Satoshi was still ne? So, uh, I guess it's a, one of Satoshi's favorite uh, animation. It used to be when he was younger. But this is such a cute little place to walk around. And so we're gonna take a really quick stroll through here. I, I, I. Look at this. Doesn't this feel like um, you stepped into like a book, like a storybook? Look at this. This is a, a Totoro shop. All these shops are like so tiny. You know, it's like, sorry. Uh, oh, hi, hello. <laughs> Kiki's Bakery. Look at this, it's amazing. Owl brings happiness. I mean, this is kind of, um, like for me, it's kind of random 
<laughs> I mean, I no longer feel like I'm in Yuhuin anymore. It doesn't even feel like I'm in a hot springs resort, but I am. I'll say hell. I'll say I'll tell Kiki hello, Jackie. <laughs> Look at this. I just love it. I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel like I'm in a theme park or something. Kawaii ne. Honto ne kawaii no. Eh, ko hotel aru no? There's a hotel here. Honto no hotel? Hon hotel front te kaite aru ka? Honto no hotel ne? So there is a real hotel. Ah, it kore hotel mo shikashite. Is this the hotel? It's the Earth Market. And look, there's a foot bath. Here in Yufuin, well, in Beppu, there are a lot of these foot baths located all over the place. So you can sit over there and you know, put your feet in, inside the, uh, the, the water, the hot water. And I think this is a cat cafe. Yes, it is. Chelsea Cats Forest. Neko Cafe da ne. And then you got like uh, artwork by an artist. This is the artist called Mew. Her name is Mew. All you need is love. Cream tea. Okay. <laughs> Kawaii ne. Hi Shogun SKA, good to see you. So, we are going to go to the lake now because uh, Satoshi wants to go to the lake. Ne, you want to go to the lake, right? Yes. Yes, is it far from here? I love nature. I don't think so. You don't think so? Mm -hmm. Okay. There are so many mountains around here. It's very close. The mountains are very close. Yeah. There are no no lake. Oh yeah. Yumi Yumi. Yumi san ga ne, Karuizawa po ne te. Yes, it's like a Karuizawa. Yes. So so so. Honto ne Karuizawa po in desu yo. Yeah. But check out all the 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 architecture. It's so lovely. The the different architecture that you find here. Like here, this is like a dog themed store. Called <laughs> Inu Dog House. Datte. Dog House of Yufuin. And there's a lot of street food in this area. Oh, here's another really cute store. Here's another、um, car. Is this a Mini Cooper? I'm not familiar with cars. And there's Totoro inside. Look. Ah, and look at this architecture. It's like it's like you're in Europe or something. I kind of feel like I'm in Europe. And the mountains that surround this place is stunning. I love it. I love it. Hi, hi. Oh, so much more. Some, you don't know, mise ga atte ne, tanoshii in desu yo. 本当にね、楽しいの。Yes, and、um, by the way,、uh, 今日ね、we just finished、uh, filming and we ate a lot of street food,、mm -hmm. so much food. And last thing we had was a、uh, gelato, so which is kind of crazy because、um, now I'm colder <laughs> than ever. I feel so cold. And here. Let me, let me walk you through this area. This, this area, there's a museum here. It's a Showa museum. We're not gonna go in the museum, but I can show you guys a little bit outside because it's kind of interesting. So, this is、uh, the entrance of the Showa museum. But, hello, Nancy. Here's some、um, old, old, old retro masks. You got、uh, the old Peko chan ningyo there. That's, uh, she's a symbol of Fujiya. And then、um, here's some、uh, old streetscapes. They kind of remind you of the、uh, Showa era. This is like an old、uh, movie theater.、Uh, uh, what do you call this? This is supposed to be the movie, <laughs> the movie theater. 
and the posters outside the movie theater. So some posters of old movies here. And here you have uh, some old, um, what do you call, old dolls, old toys from way back then. ね、本当ですよね。昭和なんかね、落ち着くよね。そう、自分もね、そう思うんですよ。あの、you got like an old radio and old fan and old iron。これ、カトリセンコ？なんだろう。You got like an what? What is that? Oh, it's a record player. Is it record player? You used to have that? Really? An old television? I had this light. You had this flashlight, yes, yes, yes. really? Oh, that's an old rice cooker mm -hmm. and like an old fan. <laughs> Mr. Sa, ne, nanka, omoshiwa yo de. And yeah, kore nani? Kore wa ega kan no soto. Super retro, yeah. Yeah. It's Godzilla. Too bad Mark's not here. He's a big fan of Godzilla. All right, let's go to the lake. Let's go to the lake. Ah, oh, you know, one day I wanna I wanna make one of these do these dollhouse kits. I always see these at Toki Hands. Like these are kits that you can make at home. Aren't these amazing? <laughs> I don't know why I like these so much. Like, look, it's so cute. I want that ramen shop over there. I want to make that ramen shop. I want to make that ramen shop. Okay. All right. Let's go to the lake. Satoshi really wants to go to the lake today. <laughs> hey, Nashibad. What's up? Are we in the right direction? Are we going the right direction? One moment. So you guys talking about crazy weather. What's the weather like over there? Rain, rain with more rain in San Francisco? Okay. Yeah, that way? Okay, is it far? No, not far. Almost five minutes. Almost five minutes, okay. BM says Hawaii had a storm. Oh, I, really? I I wrote I wrote I read I read the article. You read the article? Article on the, on the newspaper. Okay, North you read it. Northwest is covered with snow. Oh. Oahu is very windy and cold. Eh, yeah, really? It's cold. How cold is it in Oahu right now? Oh, it's cold today. Oh, I see. The storm is coming from Hawaii. Interesting. I see. That, so that's why San Francisco has a uh, rainy weather right now. Dry in Nambia. It's low 60s. Says Terry. Wow. In Seattle, it's crazy snowing. Really? Yeah. Oh gosh. I, the architecture here. Sorry. I'm just loving. This is a country inn, by the way. So I guess you can stay here. Country inn Fumotoya. Look at this lovely entrance. Oh. Gosh, all right, let's keep going. Isn't it? It's so beautiful. This whole area, I, I'm just in love with Oita. I am. Yesterday and the day before, we were in uh, Beppu, uh, the hot springs resort. I love it. And now we're in Yufuin. We actually drove through the mountains today. So if you check my Instagram account, you can see the gorgeous mountain road that we came through. Oh, well, that's kind of a nice little street there. <laughs> yeah, this is so nice. Look at the architecture. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's such a nice walk. Yeah. Look, look at all the houses around me, around us. You know, it's, it's therapeutic just walking around like this. Haleakala had snow. Really? Haleakala had snow, Satoshi? Ah, uh, nanka yina. 
、ね、あの皆さんあの大分に来たことあります Have you guys been to this area before, guys? This place is、uh, called Yufuin in Oita Prefecture in Kyushu. Yeah, Nicola. Yeah, to, you know, right.、Uh, oh, wait, one moment. It, is this Ume? Hey, look, first signs of spring. That's Ume, guys. This is Ume. Oh, it's beautiful. すごく綺麗じゃない<笑>あ、本当ですか、ミサさん。あのね、ぜひね、来てみてください。今回ね、僕もね、僕もね、別府とかね、大分とか来たことないんですけどね、来てよかったと思うね。本当にね、落ち着くし。Ah, look at these. Look at all these cute little shops. This is 1000 yen plaza. What is this? 100 yen shop in the 10 yen shop. Oh, look at these waffle cones. Oiso cream soda float. Caramel float. Okay, Satoshi is saying, hurry up. <laughs> Enough food. <laughs> oh, look at this. Kappa Shokudo. And so the second floor is a restaurant, the first floor is a omiyagi asan. They sell, they specialize in shoyu made locally. Hey. Ah, osobaya san. This house here is a soba shop. Kamoseiro. Eh? Oh, okay, so soba with duck. Oh, and look, and there's a man. He's, he's making the soba by hand. You guys, can you guys see him? From outside, you can, you can see, look at this beautiful building. Look, you see the man making soba right now. And here's a beautiful、um, what is this? Is this a museum? There's a cafe on the first floor. It's called Marc Chagall.、Huh? Oh, it's a museum. It is a museum.、Yeah. <gasps> We're here at the lake. So, this is a museum with a cafe attached to it. You know what's so cool about this, guys? Oh, look, this is a coffee shop. How nice, where they're closed. I'm seeing this for the first time with you guys. Isn't that cool? I'm actually seeing this for the first time, you know. Never been here before. Sugoi. あのね、僕もねみ皆さんとね初めてなんですよ見るのが<笑>えこれえこれえこれえこれえこれえこれえこれえこれえこれえこれえこれえこれえこれえ Interesting. So I guess, oh my god, there's a duck or what? What is that? There's a bird. What do you call it? uh Do you guys see that that bird? Is that Wait, this is a very narrow narrow walkway. A goose. Look, there's a goose right there. Wow. And he's not even afraid of the people. Wow! <laughs> Zin- oh, 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 oh. He, he's, he's not even afraid of the. He's so used to the people, huh? Ah,、oh, that's amazing. <laughs> people should fear geese. How come? Are, are, are they kind of scared? Oh my gosh. Ah, I see! It's feeding time! It's feeding time! Oh, what is he eating? What, what is that? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, oh, that's adorable. <laughs> wow. Miss Sa, Honto, this is a good timing. Perfect timing. It was feeding time for the, for the goose. Oh, my goodness. Wow. This is. Oh! 
Oh, and on, on the other side, people are feeding um, some fish. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> Is the goose feeding the fish? テクテクパクパクさんね、カナダのグースはね、怖いよって。え、なんで怖いの?歩ける?あっち行きたいんだけど。オッケー。ザーバブラン。わあ、this <笑> Hello goose. It looks like it's eating soba. Udon? Maybe it's eating udon. <笑>あ。へえ。もしもしさんがね、カナダのグースはね、攻撃するんだって。そう、ここれなんだっけ、このレイクの金輪子。So <笑><笑> so this is ki Lake Kinlinko. And uh, I read in the brochure that if you come early in the morning, it's covered with fog. So it has a very surreal appearance in the mornings. Oh, this is beautiful. Can you imagine what it looks like in the autumn? The mountains must, you know, be all red and orange and yellow. Okay. Oh. So, Satoshi has left me behind. He's way over there now. <laughs> By the way, guys, you know, because Yufuing is a uh, is a uh, resort. <laughs> it's a resort. Um, I gotta say, most of the people here are non-Japanese people. Like seriously, um, you hear more uh, different languages other than Japanese when you're here in Yufuin. So, it's interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go over there because I see a nice structure over there. I just have to be careful not to fall into the lake. Are there... Are there fish in the water? Yes, I see fish. I see small little fish in the water. Oh. Ah. By the way, guys, uh, we have... Uh, one more night uh, in uh, in this place, except uh, we we checked out of the uh, original uh, Japanese inn we were staying at because you know uh, they they only uh, paid for two nights and it's a it's it's kind of a pricey place I think I'm not exactly sure how much it cost but um, yeah we we booked another hotel in the city this time and we're gonna stay for one more night because we want to explore a little bit more of Beppu. And uh, so after we explore this area, uh, Yuhuin, we're gonna drive back to Beppu town and we're gonna explore the city of Beppu at nighttime to see what it has. Ah, one moment. So, I'm not sure if that's just a, a, a normal residential house or it's something else. I, I really don't know. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Like here in front of me, that, that's actually a restaurant. And uh, you guys see uh, the steam coming out from, from the mountain there? Yeah, you see a lot of that all over uh, this area because uh, this is the number one hot springs destination in Japan. Um, it has the most hot springs. I think there are over 2,000 hot springs in uh, Beppu. 2,000! So if you go in the, midi the middle of the city, Beppu, you'll see all this steam rising from the ground. Yes, Mindy's mom. 
I have a question. The three of us are very sensitive to cigarette smoke. Are we going to have problems at the ryokans, hotels, or restaurants when we visit Japan? Um, I don't think you will. No, no, no. Um, most, most, I think most of the restaurants in Japan now are non-smoking, but not all. And um, I, I, you know, I, you just have to check. Uh, for example, if you go to izakayas, you might have a problem. Izakayas are always, um, they have smoking. Um, so it, it just depends. So you have to go to the izakayas with private rooms and you, you will be okay. Uh, but even then, you might be next to a room with smokers. So you might have a problem there. Uh, coffee shops depends on what kind of coffee shop you go to. If you go to Starbucks, definitely no smoking. But if you go to the old-fashioned kisaten, like the Japanese uh, coffee shops, yes, uh, they do. They still do have smoking allowed. Um, but the ryokans should be okay. And um, yeah, the, the city, the city of Beppu, you see all the smoke, but that's the that's more like steam coming out from the. Uh, the ground so it's not smoke it's not like cigarette smoke uh, yeah but um, I, I hope that makes sense I hope that helps too but don't worry don't worry before you come um, I can give you guys some advice so no worries hey Frederick good to see you oh, ah. hey Diana hey Diana it's getting cold now. Can we go back to that way because it's cold now I think the lake area is especially cold Look how beautiful this is. It's so peaceful. So, so peaceful. And look, did you guys see that really cute gay couple? <laughs> they, they, like, they've been following us around. I'm kidding, no, like we keep bumping into them. Like, like they're wearing matching outfits and they're just so adorable. <laughs> oh, now the sun is coming up. I'm so happy. Oh my God. Out of, you know, all, this is our, our third day. First two days, it was actually quite warm. And uh, today, I think it's the coldest it's been. The location, apart from the ocean. The location? The, the altitude is high. Oh, okay, so it's colder here colder. than Beppu. Mm -hmm. So it'll probably be warmer when we get back to Beppu. Mm -hmm. A shop lady we visited yeah. said, is it cold here? Uh, yeah, it is cold here. It but is. It's warmer than Tokyo. True, true. Tokyo is colder. Um, but I think um, the past two days it's been kind of warm, so I've gotten used to the warmth, I think. The goose is still there. It was very warm. Huh? Inside it was very warm. It was, yeah. So, uh, uh, oh, for, for those of you guys who joined me on this morning's live stream, thank you for having breakfast with me. And hope you guys enjoyed uh, looking at the... the breakfast. This picture is better than the real. What? What? A1 is... Uh, Shinichi's World is where you are right now a famous tourist spot. It is. It's a very famous tourist spot. I did not know. Here, here it's so popular. <laughs> yeah, it's super popular. It's more popular than Beppo, I think. Oh, Mindy's mom, no worries. Um, but please watch it later though because um, I do... Um, you know, I, I actually show my entire breakfast with, with everybody and also um, um, I also give a tour of the public bath as well as the lobby, the library, the shop and also uh, our room. So yeah, and, and, and our private bath in the room. So um, I show you guys all that on the live stream I did this morning. So definitely check it out. I wish that this coffee shop was open. Like if they had tea, I could use a cup of hot tea right now. And this is a really cool looking coffee shop. Okay, Satoshi, I think I'm ready. Uh, he's still taking pictures. Oh, oh no, I forgot something. I have to um, do something for check-in after this. チェックインのなんとかまあ後でやればいいよこのライブやった後にうん、yes. Oh. Tonight. 
Yeah. Yeah, recently, sometimes I forget. I'm supposed to uh, do a uh, shout out for the check in. Did they send you a message? Uh, uh, no, they didn't. But no, no, no. Because they, they usually send a message like one hour before the check in. But that one we have to do, but we have to do another plug in on like before that one, like way before that one. Hello, there. Check in wa uh, the check in is gonna be tonight at 10 p.m. here uh, in Japan. So um, it, it's still like way later, but um, I'm supposed to do a plug in for them at 12 noon today. But it's already two or three. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. That's okay. That's a bay. That's okay. I think I've been doing a pretty good job. So um, that's okay. I think they'll forgive me for that. Uh, I think I'm, I'm the only one that actually does um, live streams to promote it. So I think I'm, I think I'm okay, right? Thank you, Nasha Broad. It's 4 p.m. Thank you. Appreciate that. Bye, Frederick. It was good to see you. Thank you so much for dropping in to say hi. So we're gonna go back to the main street, and then you're gonna see how um, how busy and festive the street is because. There's so much food there. I wanna show you guys what kind of food they have because they do have some pretty amazing things here. Yeah. Thank you, Diana, I appreciate that. I do, thank you. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best with it. And uh, hey, Pozza, good to see you. And did you know, I don't know what happened, but you know, there are 10 streamers, um, you know, that that are part of the check-in right and um one of the streamers have already been replaced yes yes i noticed that that person is no longer on the schedule and that person's profile is no longer on the profile page it's been replaced by a new one so i know that in the contract they said that they have the right to replace you if they feel like um, the work you're doing is not up to their standards. So I guess that particular person wasn't doing a good job. Yeah, kind of feel sorry for that streamer. Uh, but, you know, this can't be helped, huh? Oh, yeah, exactly, Pozzo. Yikes. Um, okay, so, is, is this the street we came from? Yeah, it is. Okay, it is. It's so easy to get lost in Japan, especially at a new place. あ、もうもうすいぶっぷれ。大根とわかめでした。何がですか?味噌汁ですか?何どうしたの?うん。コーニング。You were calling? To who? The hotel. The hotel? Why? Why? Nande? Yeah, why? <laughs> why? You, you have to know everything. Yes, I have to know everything. <laughs> About the parking lot. Oh, the parking lot, okay. Asagawa no omisoshiru, narodo. I do not own a car. I do not. Satoshi used to have a car, but he sold it when we decided to do YouTube because we need to save money. And we knew that for the first year, we will be making nothing. And so, yeah, he sold his car. Uh, that way we saved on uh, uh, parking and gas and insurance and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, we even uh, decided not to get cable. Yeah, so we don't have cable in our home, which is totally fine because we hardly watch TV anyway. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, especially the first two years to do YouTube were very very frugal. Incredibly frugal. Um, how, how much money do you guys spend in a month for food? I'd like to know. So, Jackie, you're so, you're so nice. Yeah, for four hundred dollars, can't they be? Okay, so is this for this? Is, okay, oh, four hundred dollars. So this is one person. 
one person. $200 says Diana. Oh, this is interesting. Bex is over 400 Australian dollars. Hey. <laughs> Yumi san, oyatsudai ga sugoi. Kontagibi, family of three. That's amazing. You're doing such a great job. That's a really good job. Wow. Okay, well, yeah, Satoshi and I, we, 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 uh, we tried to keep it down to um, $400. For the no, was four hundred dollars? Yeah, four hundred dollars for the two of us, for food uh, and necessities like um, like toilet paper, uh, aluminum foil, uh, groceries, um, eating out, and stuff like that. And if we had any left over, then we'd use that to treat ourselves to eating out or something. So that's what we did, yeah, for the first two years. Okay, so now we are here on the main street. We're back on the main street. I'm just gonna tell Satoshi that we're gonna keep walking. Okay. Hi. Okay. So this is the Yufuin winery. I didn't know that they had wineries here in Yufuin. But we went in here and Satoshi actually bought a bottle of wine. And we also had gelato for dessert here. And like many um, other tourist places here in Japan, there are rickshaw drivers here. Hello Esther, good to see you. And look, there are like regular houses here. This is a regular residential house right in the middle of this main shopping street and uh, oh look at this uh, beautiful uh, garden shop and even here they have these uh, <laughs> Korean hot dogs although here they're called Yufuin cheese dogs And as we walk, you guys are going to notice so much, so much food. This is a uh, Yufuin soft ice cream, a soft serve ice cream. It's called soft ice cream here in Japan, <laughs> by the way. So I have to remind myself that it's called soft serve in other countries. Nah, A1, no, 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 that's not it, no, no, no. Actually, there are a lot of Korean people here, a lot of Korean tourists, I notice, uh, especially today. And these are some gift shops. I love, I love gift shops. I really do. Oh, we, we bought this amazing thing today. By the way, let's walk through here. So here, they have some gelato here. And the cool, cool thing about this gelato place is that uh, the flavors are kind of unusual. Like this is a tofu, and this is also tofu with kinako, and that's kabosu, which is a citrus fruit that's famous here. And this is a uh, matcha, and they have caramel. Um, I guess not too um, unique because the gelato we had was very unique. We had a Japanese jigoku pudding gelato, which is like, uh, um, it's similar to the, uh, the pudding that we had yesterday at the onsen. And they all had, they also had karupisu flavor. What do you guys think? Look at this architecture. Isn't it amazing? Like, I didn't expect this place to be so interesting, to be honest with you. I don't know why. I thought it would look just like Hakone or something. But I feel like there's so much atmosphere here. It's like it's like walking into um like a like a, like a movie set or something. And look, here's uh, some fish cake here, some fresh fish cake here. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's so pretty, isn't it? Oh. 
And the other thing about uh, the other the, the other thing about this place that I like is that it's not as crowded as Harajuku, for example. You know, in Tokyo, everywhere you go to, it's very crowded. Oops. Oh, and check this out. I'm probably gonna get pick this up later. But this is also uh, one of their famous things. It's called Purin Dora. So there's a Japanese pudding inside dorayaki pancakes. Can you imagine? Doesn't that look delicious? <laughs> and, and this here, this, uh, this house here you see here, this is actually a tea house. But it's kind of special. Let me show you. It's a Snoopy tea house. It's a Snoopy themed tea house. And they're already closed. But look at this. <laughs> look, that's Snoopy with Dango. Isn't that adorable? I really wanted to come here. I really did, but we didn't have time. So unfortunately, unfortunately, that has to be next time. Oh, <laughs> So much more than one day is not enough. Really, look at this. And this is the the shop that's connected to the uh, Snoopy Chaya, the Snoopy Tea House. That Snoopy greeting everybody. And then now we're gonna cross this river to the other side. Once again, the beautiful mountains over there. And we're crossing a small little bridge with a nice peaceful stream. Ah, isn't it nice? You know that you're not in Tokyo anymore. And like you have, you have all this yummy dessert. Kind of reminds me of um, Hokkaido, you know, they have all these delicious roll cakes with all the, this yummy whipped cream in the center. Oh, look at that. Mmm. And look at this right here. Look at this. Check this out. Look, these are tiramisu. Those are tiramisu in boxes. Ah, so it. And then the dango's here. We didn't get dango this time, but this place has an assortment of dango's. Look at that. This is all dango. It's <laughs> oh my god. Bam Kuhin. Hey, Felix and Jean. Yeah, that's another thing they have a lot of here. They have a lot of Bam Kuhin. And here, this line, they're waiting for something called um, Bakudanyaki. And we almost got this. They're like gigantic takoyaki, like the size of maybe five takoyaki in one. but. We heard that there's one, one of this store in Ikebukuro, so we thought, okay, you know what, we'll just try it out in Ikebukuro to show you guys next time. And here, th this shop sells shoyu pudding. So it's pudding, but I, I, I don't know if it's either flavored with shoyu or has shoyu sauce. Either way, there is soy sauce in the pudding. And, and people say that it's kind of like a salted caramel in taste. Yeah, Nancy, it's really interesting, isn't it? This is a shop selling dried fruits and chestnuts, roasted chestnuts. Yeah, isn't this such a charming little town? Yeah, Kristen, I totally agree. It's so beautiful. I, when I first stepped onto this street, I kind of gasped. I, I literally gasped in excitement. I was so excited. <laughs> and Satoshi found it so amusing that I was so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I, I, I wish I could stay here overnight. Oh, and, and here's another Baum Kuhin. 
This one is a special handmade bamboo cushion, and this one is I don't know what kind of flavor, but it's white. It's a white color. And another thing that this place is famous for is their nikuman, their meat buns. Check it out. I'm just gonna show you the picture, but look at how much filling there is in this meat bun. They're kind of famous for this. And this is something we did have. Uh, thank you, Mindy's mom. <laughs> I'm so happy. You know, I'm happy to be sharing this experience with you guys as well. It's my first time being here and, and you know, I'm just as excited as you guys are. Like right here, this Koroke shop. We, there's no line right now, but there was a line where we came to buy. So we bought some of these for an upcoming video. They won an award for being the best Koroke in the entire country. And so we got three of them. We got three different flavors. So stay tuned for that video. Um, all I can say is that it was pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome. And you know what? I completely... <laughs> no, sure, I completely lost Satoshi. Oh my god, I don't know where he is. We'll, we'll just go a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Let me show you guys what else we had. <coughs> right here. This. I bet you guys cannot guess what this is. Minasan, kore nan da to mou? What do you guys think this is? By the way, we got one of these. We're gonna we're gonna share this with you guys on the live stream. Can you guys guess what this is? This thing that looks like a piano keyboard. What is it? What is it? Any guesses? Yes. Yokan this. It's yokan. Exactly. It's yokan. And we got ourselves one. It's actually kind of pricey. But um, they sell, oh, they are completely sold out already. And we, we had to get one. I mean, look at this. I've never seen a yokan like this. Yokan is a Japanese snack that's made with a sweetened azuki paste. But they usually do not look like this. This is amazing. We, we, we had a taste of it. They had samples. We had to get them. And this is another modern take on a traditional Japanese confectionery called uh, Monaka. But this is their version of Monaka. This Monaka. But it's not modern, right? I didn't buy it, but it's really good. So this is the chocolate yokan. And this is the classic yokan. It's called the jazz yokan. And it's not just red azuki bean paste. There's actually dried figs inside. And inside the azuki bean paste, they actually mix in red wine. Hi, Satoshi. There you are. I almost cried. <laughs> oh, you bought it. Oh, you bought it. Oh my god. He went to buy. What did you buy? Ah, oh, he's so sweet. Like Mindy's mom is like, ah, oh, he's so sweet. Frindrek. Frindreki. Can we open it later? Can we open one to share with them? Or maybe we can like buy something. He bought the pudding dorayaki. <gasps> Look, he got us a slice of the roll cake with the whipped cream on the inside. It's still frozen. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's really hot. It's really hot. We can eat. Okay. But, well. Wow. Now I'm interested. <laughs> no, let's go this way. Because I want to show them the... Before my... my ba oh, see, it's already low battery mode. Oh. Oh. Yes, I just want to go. I have to. One moment, guys. One moment. One moment. I gotta get my battery out. Mm -hmm. Low battery mode. Mm -hmm. Enjoy my face. <laughs> oh. Enjoy my face. Enjoy yeah. his face. People. All you need, it, all you need is me. <laughs> and me. 
he is おおおお<笑>ミサさんありがとうエンジョイしてくれてダンス Here? Here? Yes! Dance, baby, dance! Okay, I know. I have to.、Um... One moment, people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dance, dance! Dance, dance, dance revolution. Koko de. Koko de. Ja, ne, kore tot ta ga yo ne. どう思うこれ取った方がいいと思うこうやってやってもいいと思う大丈夫だと思う、うん、はいしえっとほらちょっとね無理なんだじゃあ外すしかないねうん One moment guys One moment I have to、um, detach my phone from the stabilizer because my battery pack is too heavy for the stabilizer so One moment, please. Just a moment, ne. I don't know how to do that. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm gonna turn off the stabilizer first. Okay, hi. Ja, これをスライドします。Enjoy my face. Oh, too. 難しいんだよね。Okay. Now it's okay. Now it's okay. <laughs> my beautiful face. <laughs> okay. じゃあちょっとこれカバーお願いします。Okay, guys, so、um, the camera is going to be a little bit shakier now. But I think having the battery on is more important than stabilization at the moment. So, here's another shop we already went to and we tried it for the video. Ha 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 ha. Uh, Seattle says, You didn't do your Satoshi dance. <laughs> Kontiki B is like, Dance, dance. Dance, dance, revolution. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. I will break this that very important sweet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we went to this shop called Milch. And they have these amazing puddings and cheesecakes, these warm cheesecakes. First of all, they have that, but they're famous for their, their liquidy pudding and their keizukuhin, which is like this hot cheesecake. We had that for the video, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Yeah.、Uh, Nestor, I think it's, it's like 4 20 p.m. or something. I'm not sure. I can't really see the time, but I know it's past 4 p.m. because Nasha Broad told me it was 4 p.m. Uh, maybe 15 20 20 minutes ago. Good morning from the Netherlands. Hello. So it's this shop called Milch. Yeah. We had a lot of good food today. Yeah. This place is just so wonderful. And I'm gonna show you from far because, well, this particular store is cute, but. It says no pictures or videotaping. But this is a Totoro store. Isn't it cute? This is a Totoro store. Here, I'm, I'm gonna like、uh, zoom with my camera. Can you guys see? Hola, kawaii kuna? Totoro no omise desu. How many of you guys are Ghibli fans? Donguri no Mori, the yo mise desu. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately. What is that? There's a train there. Kore nani? Steam locomotive. Steam locomotive. Why is there a steam locomotive there? <laughs> oh, okay. Well. We don't know why it's there, but we'll keep moving on. <laughs> And suddenly we have a supermarket here. It's a supermarket. Suddenly we have a supermarket here. A cop. And as, as usual with、uh, most stores in the countryside, Some of the shops are closing up. 
Yeah, but 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 I think this is kind of too early to close up, don't you think? Oh, hello again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I really wish I had another day here in Beppu. To be honest with you, um, I feel like I haven't seen enough, and you know we've been filming the whole time. And so I feel like um, I feel like I didn't really have time to uh, just just relax and take it all in. <laughs> but you know, can't can't help it, I guess. Uh, uh, let me tell you guys um, what what are some of the famous dishes of this area. Um, the most famous dish in Beppu is something called Toriten. トリテンって聞いたことあります。ベップですごい有名なあの料理なんですけど、えっとね、あの唐揚げみたいなんですよ。It's kind of like chicken karaage, but not. It's it's completely different because it's like chicken tempura, and the outside is not crispy like tempura, and it's usually made with egg, and uh, um, it's marinated. Before it gets fried, kind of like kind of like a karaage, but I think it's marinated even more than karaage because it tasted different from karaage. So we tried that yesterday, and so instantly up and hi. And and uh, we went to the restaurant that that created that dish yesterday. First we went during lunchtime, and the uh, the wait was over two hours. So we thought we thought no way we can't do that if we wait. We won't be able to film anything else, and so we went back for dinner, and there was no wait. So uh, yeah, glad that we went back. And then the second thing that they're famous for is a noodle dish called lemon, and basically it's cold noodles. It's Korean cold noodles, um, but they do it very differently here. And I hear that they have over 200 shops. Sorry, no. Was it 200 or was it 30? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Too much information in my brain at once and my brain starts to die. But um, there's a lot of shops selling ramen. And I, I went into the ramen shop, you know, like expecting it to taste the same as the ramen that you have in Tokyo. Completely different. Completely different. And so that was actually one of my favorite dishes of the entire day yesterday. And, um, where are we walking now? Is this the same street we came down? Oh, it is. Okay. And then uh, we went to the, we visited all eight hells in Beppu, which is actually kind of interesting. Um, some of the hells were more interesting than others. But what's, what's, what's most interesting for me is that it's, it's all natural. And I've seen, you know, stuff like this at Disneyland. But uh, no, it's, it's kind of, um, Fascinating when you think about it uh, So, you know like this whole area has over 2,000 hot springs under under us and it, it reminds you that the earth is alive <laughs> Yeah, and you know that mountain that you guys saw right that's an active volcano Mount Yufu is an active volcano the thought of it kind of scares me but you know, I mean that's just the way the that's just the way it is. Okay, so, by the way, so we're walking along this other main street of, uh, of Yufuin, and we're walking towards the station right now. Yeah, it, it, yeah, I read that it's an active volcano, but it's not necessarily, um, like erupting or anything, it's actually kind of quiet. Oh, and there are more shops here. I was hoping to find a bakery today, but looks like most of these shops are closed. Like when we first arrived, this hamburger shop here was open and they were doing pretty good business, but now it's closed. I wonder why they closed so early. Back up for dinner? Hmm. 
Hi Felix and Jean. The gimbal likely has a USB port on bottom that you can use to charge your phone a little bit. Yes, actually it, it, it does actually. Um, but for some reason, uh, well not for some reason, but my phone, um, the, the port is at the, at the, the end. And for some reason, um, that makes my phone go off balance. And I try to balance it and it doesn't balance properly. But um, I'll try to work on it. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But uh, I try to. Yeah. But uh, yeah. And Satoshi's been helping me with it, but I can't get it to operate properly when I, when I have that that USB port attached to my phone. Okay, we also had a snack here. And um, let, me, let me just uh, cross over. And you guys used to me jaywalking, right? Just make sure you, you look both sides before you do that. <laughs> we went here today, so stay tuned for this one. This is a flower shop called Takakura. And we had the crepe here. Oh my God, it's so good. And look how beautiful it is. This one. This is called the Yuhu Hana Crepe. And it was amazing. It's not just pretty to look at, it was actually good. It was actually delicious. So we had this for lunch today. And it's a really, really cute flower shop, by the way. Yeah, so far. Oh, this is a donut shop right here. You guys like donuts? Nasha Bra, do you like donuts? Well, I'm pretty sure you, you prefer donuts over salad, right? So this is a cute, cute little donut shop. And I think these are baked donuts. But we didn't go in here because we had donuts at the start of this food tour, which I will probably end this video at that donut shop today. <laughs> as long as it's not a kale donut. Got it, Nash. I got it. <laughs> yeah, so many nice shops. Like you would think this is a some kind of clothing shop, right? This is actually a chocolate cake shop. It's a gluten-free chocolate cake shop. And right here is another. Oh wow! Look at this. Oh my God! Look at those pastries or cakes or whatever they are. Oh, and here's a matcha ice cream shop right next door called Telato. Oh, that looks good. Mmm. <laughs> oh, hey, Tamara. I know. I love matcha. Oh, and Mindy's mom. Don't worry, there are a lot of public restrooms. That's one right there. And there are a few more back there. And there's more at the station, which is just a block away from here. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mindy's mom. Um, Daniel Wood is wondering if there are any local breweries for beer or sake. Satoshi, are there any local beers or sakes in this area? Oita is very popular for shochu. Shochu. Mugi jochu. Oito. Oito. Shochu made with oito. Okay. Shochu is the right. Uh, the, it's like a Japanese brandy. Like Japanese brandy? Okay. So, uh, yeah. So they make shochu here, but no beer or. Um, Maybe they have local brewery. Yeah. But we don't know about any. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. We, so, yeah. So sorry about that, Daniel. Yeah. But they have shochu. Oh look, there's a Tori gate there. Does that mean there's a shrine? Okay, and then we also came here. Good night, Francesca. Always good to see you. We came here for one of our first snacks. Oh look, there's more of that um, famous roll cake. We came here to try this here. This nikumaki onigiri. There's an onigiri in here. And, uh, there, there's an oblong onigiri and it's wrapped with a... a th Thin, thin slices of meat marinated in teriyaki sauce and there's cheese inside. It's so good. Hi Caroline, I've been to Beppu. Oh, 
I've been to Beppu, but is it worth going to Yuhuin? Definitely, I, I think it has a different feel. Yeah, Beppu is a totally different world from this area of Yuhuin. Totally different. Yeah, and look. Guess what this is, guys? This is, um... No way. Okay, it's sold out, but they, they sell um, eggs here, boiled eggs here, boiled in the hot spring water, um, and you can buy them. <laughs> yeah, Caroline says Beppu was like weird Disneyland. Kind of, huh? <laughs> Hi, A1. Um, what is in Yuhuin? Satoshi, what is in Yuhuin? A1-san, what is in Yuhuin? Onsen. Onsen. Yeah, it is basically an onsen resort here. Uh -huh. And it's the, the base of climbing Yuhu. Uh, you, can, you can go hiking up the mountain if that's something you want to do. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like Yuhui had more things like like shopping or uh, like you know like uh, street food, more more of that in Yuhui. But I felt like Beppu was more authentically Japanese. What do you think? You're what? right. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I'm right. Yeah. Um, so that's how it feels. I mean, I heard that Beppu was more commercialized, which it kind of is because Beppu is weird in that they have um, theme parks <laughs> and they have like these really random attractions. Um, but I feel like it's a very Japanese place. Well, Beppu is a city. It's a, a city. Huge city. Yeah, it's the a city. The largest, largest onsen city in Japan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really city. Yeah, not it's a only city. The spa, not only onsen, uh -huh. there are huge uh, industries. Oh, I see, I see. Whereas uh, Yufuin is basically a resort town. Yeah. Right. And um, does all the steam coming out give the area a certain smell? Um, I think more in Beppu, like I don't really smell the sulfur too much mm. here. Oh, yeah, yeah there, there's some steam coming out over there too. Um, here. Anyway, we're almost at the station. The station's right there. So let's walk over there. And as you walk, you guys, you guys, can you guys notice the steam coming out from the, the ground? Can you guys see the steam coming out over there? Yeah, that's from the hot springs. Here's another place selling the famous uh, roll cake. Yeah, they're really popular for the roll cakes here. Oh, Cremia ice cream. I know Nasha Broad really likes Cremia. Right? You guys ever tried this before? It's delicious. Oh, and this is a donut shop we went to. <laughs> it's, it's the Yuhui Milk Donut and Cafe, and they sell baked donuts here. They're actually pretty good. Nah, it was good, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and we were both mm -hmm. kind of surprised. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, really mm -hmm, good, mm -hmm, really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see the mountains over there? Right in front is a station. That's a train station. And uh, we're going to walk all the way to the end over there. And I can show you a close-up of the onsen water. And then that will be the end of today's live stream. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed walking around with me in Yufuin. It was really a treat to uh, discover that lake together. You know, that got me super excited. It was so beautiful. Look, in the middle of the city, you have this thing here. This is a bucket of hot spring water and you can, you can touch it. This is for your hand. Oh, it's nice and, oh, it's, pretty hot but it's nice and warm ah uh, very nice so look how clear the spring water is mm. yeah oh that feels so good that feels so good and here we are at Yufuin station so you can get to Yufuin station by train from Hakata or Oita. You can also come here by bus. 
Yeah, it, and it is kind of a nice station. It has a retro feel to it. It's a very small station, by the way. Okay. Yeah. And that's our tour of Yufuin. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, take a look. One last look at the street we walked down. Uh, hard to see when my face is in the foreground. There. That's the street that we came down. The lake was on your right. That's Mount Yufu in the back. And right here is the station. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for uh, coming on this walk with me. Really had a great time with you guys. Uh, tomorrow we are leaving Beppu, unfortunately. So um, anyway, the next live stream will most likely be in Tokyo. Um, stay tuned for the videos coming out. Uh, tonight I will be on check-in at 10 p.m. tonight Japan time. So hope you guys can join me. I'll also be on another check-in tomorrow 1.30 p.m.